the process for working on our first album this was back in uh 2002 and um <clears throat> nick at the time was living in the netherlands and i was in durham north carolina which i still am in the same area and uh he had these tracks and now he put them up online i heard them and i just thought they were dope i was like yo this is crazy and so i hit him and i was like man would you mind if i did something to this and he was like yeah cool this is go go ahead and so i just did them did vocals over them and sent them back and this was um this is actually like before like you send it send space mega upload like it was before all of that so we would just do it just straight through instant messenger and so i would send him like the vocals back and he you know he loved it i loved the track so we just decided to keep working and so we just kept working until we uh eventually finished the album uh connected and it came out in 2004 and we didn't actually meet each other face to face until after the record was completed <clears throat> and uh, you know at the time it seemed like something very radical but now i mean it's it's pretty much standard i mean everyone just kind of sends tracks and does it through email just because that's cheaper we believe in in just um giving each other our space to do what we do best so that um you know there's i mean it's really kind of interesting but it gives you a little bit more of um of freedom to really truly express like whatever you want to do rather than there's somebody watching over your shoulders or maybe even giving suggestions um mm -hmm. instead we're just doing it really kind of isolated so when i present it with a um with a track it's just what i felt like doing and when he comes back with vocals it's the same way and um somehow that really just clicks into one um, yeah i think you really need that space you know what i'm saying it's music in a lot of ways i mean it's it's a sausage factory you know what i'm saying like you just want to eat sausage you do not want to see how it's made you know what i'm saying and so with music you know particularly with you know with, with me with vocals and stuff i mean it's just you know it's a process of like writing a song you know doing it the right way getting it down yeah it's, it's i mean having people over at the studio really is overrated because of like that's what you see a lot. You'll see it on you know, behind the scenes or whatever. There's people hanging out in the studio, smoking blunts and all. It's, I cannot deal with that either. Like I do not. I prefer honestly to just be be really by myself, and that's that's it. You know the thing that I just wanted people to understand, and you know when we decided, when me and Nick decided to go kind of full scale with the whole phone exchange music brand, um, I was just very wary of using the word label because that's not you know. That's not really what we're about. And then, too, it's just what we are is just so much more than a label in the sense that it's really just family working together. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the stuff that we do just from the man hours that we put in, you know, just on Yazra's record, on Zoe's record, like, I can't do that shit for people I don't care about. It's just pretty much it's been very intuitive. And with, you know, Yaz, uh, me and her, we went to school together. We've been, you know, writing songs together for damn near 10, 12 years now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Zoe. There's another brother that uh, I just extremely admire, you know what I'm saying, and what he brings to the table in terms of musicianship and composition. Uh, Darian is another just incredible singer that really um, working on his very first record, that was kind of the dress rehearsal for Leave It All Behind. Yeah, that was the genesis in a lot of Yeah, ways. it really was because, you know, I was writing songs, Nick was doing the tracks, I was like kind of you know helping to co-produce it all and that was really where i kind of cut my teeth as a songwriter and as a singer because darian would come and he was working at the time and he would sing and we'd be in like two three in the morning he'd be like dude i gotta go i gotta go to work man fuck this song i gotta go and so i'd be like all right just go ahead i'll finish the song for you and so i would end up doing most of his background vocals you know and and that just kind of worked and i didn't even really see it like that i was just like okay i'm gonna just do these for now and you can come back and finish them. And he was like, nah, dude, like, yeah, Lee, yeah. And so that really kind of helped me get my confidence as a singer because I did not take the shit seriously. Yeah. Well, that's not really the Soul Aquarians, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's not really. I'm on some other shit I mean, right I now. I don't have an afro. I ain't even know Aquarian. I'm a Capricorn. So we'd be the Capricorians <laughs> or some shit. Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> now, that's, I mean, that could, yeah, that's a big honor. I mean, I'm, I know that I was a big fan of their thing when they were trying to really, um, you know do that and especially with all the records that came out at that time you know with the common rec the the um, like water for chocolate record the voodoo record the slum village uh volume two it was just really kind of it seemed like it was the perfect time and and um yeah i think that we definitely um you know take at least some 
you know, yeah. learning Soul from Soul Koreans, Organized Inspir- Noise, yeah. uh, Jam and Lewis, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, Jam and Lewis. Just, yep. you know, really just, you know, in terms of production teams, those are some of my biggest influences. And I kind of try to model what we do. And even from a business and musical standpoint, like Jazz and Nova, I really admire what they've done with Sonar Collective and just how they are a fucking machine. Yeah, and they're so, real. Yeah, that, you know yeah I mean? that's that German precision right there. You know what I'm saying? And then, but if we take cues from Parliament Funkadelic, you know, their kind of organization of just having everybody that that, that is in the team, you <laughs> know, stage, perform, yeah. play on each other's stuff, like, you know, that whole stuff. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of stuff that we fortunately can draw upon. Because so many people have gone before us and had to figure it out. And we just really um, are trying to give it our spin. 